All right, so I got a brush pen, regular pen, Sharpies, pencils. Uh, maybe we'll do pencil today, all right? Maybe we'll do some pencil. So I kind of had this idea of just some sort of wedge as a speaker. You know, maybe this part's fabric. <clears throat> this is actually similar to a sketch I did this week. So maybe I've just got the same form on my mind. If you were paying attention on Instagram, you'll have noticed I did this shaver sketch, mostly in an attempt to understand uh, this trend I've noticed online. Published an article about it, and apparently people got upset. But um, in any case, this little detail here is a lot like that sketch that I posted. I also got a good request on the Insta from. I think it's Brian Dolan, I think, um, to do some storyboarding. So I think I'm gonna do a video, not, not a live, but just a video on how I storyboard, at least how I plan them out, and maybe some elements to show you how if you need to storyboard something, you can figure it out. All right, so I've got some line work in, super light. Deck of Kings is asking how many hours do I practice a day? It depends on the day. Some days I'm drawing six hours, some days I'm drawing 30 minutes. But more importantly, I draw every day. Regardless of what's happening, every day I draw something. All right, I'm gonna make the base yellow. I just wanted to make it yellow. I also uh, got some interesting feedback this week. Someone said markers are dead. And I'm like, eh. I mean, for quick, quick ideas, you know, I, I haven't hit undo once. I haven't zoomed in, I haven't done anything like that. So to me, this is faster. And it forces you to really think about what you're doing before you commit. So I'm not entirely convinced. I think traditional marker renderings are probably dead, but they're still refreshing to see. I think. All right, so something like that for my base. And then I'll get the top. Um, I think I'll make the cord yellow as well, actually. Just keep it fun. So this sketch was requested, let's see. I forgot who requested it, but it was on Instagram. So thanks for the suggestion. Usually I don't take suggestions from you Instagrammers because you don't head over to the YouTube. <laughs> but uh, it was a good idea. Okay, so when I shade with markers, I like to outline the shape. Good night from India. Samuel. Samuel? How are things in India? I know you guys were on lockdown for a while. Um, so yeah, how are things in India? Deck of Kings, the glass project. Yeah, it's going well, man. Um, I actually ordered another 3D printer <laughs> because I'm tired of waiting on stuff, but I actually have to wait on the 3D printer. So I guess that's kind of ironic or funny or unfortunate, whatever. Um, so I have to wait on that printer <laughs> to get here. But in the meantime, this thing is just running pretty much 24 seven at this point. It's running right now, printing my glasses actually. Maybe I'll go grab those when, when it's over. I can monitor from my computer here. So let's see, view. Hmm. Looks like I have about, hmm. How much time's left on this? It might be done actually, I'm not sure. Anyhow, I'm just watching my printer from my, my computer. My printer is in my kitchen. My kitchen's become my workshop. Life is really weird right now. All of that. Okay, so now I wanna do the top. Can I do an exploded view of something simple? Yeah, I could do that. Um, maybe we could take this and do an exploded view. We, we have a request for a camera, which I'm gonna do, Tom, don't worry. I haven't forgotten. So 
So yeah, I could do an exploded view of this um, and maybe that exploded view, I'll just keep it simple. Um, I'll show you a way I like to do them if I'm doing an exploded view. So to create some texture on this, you know, if this is a speaker and some fabric top or whatever, actually this would be more muted. So I need more of a <laughs> soft blend actually. I was totally thinking uh, hard materials there when it's a soft material. So Sketch Day Live, thanks for joining. Like I said, we do this every week, a few times. Usually Wednesdays, Fridays, Sundays. This week I went a little crazy and did, I think it'll be five streams total. But I do like being able to interact, talk with you guys, get feedback in the moment, hear your jokes. We did uh, dad jokes the other night. That was funny. It's tons of dad jokes. So if you have any good dad jokes, I always like dad jokes. All right, so just creating a texture here. Almost like you're weaving the fabric. You can just pick a direction and go, but um, the goal here is just to create an overall look while I shade this so it feels woven. I'm not, I'm obviously not uh, routing each marker stroke over and under each other and trying to capture every detail, but just enough to create some texture on the top. And now let's go ahead and deepen some of these reflective areas on the side. Like if our, if our side here is nice and, and glossy, for example, we're going to have some strong reflections, things in the environment. Something like that. And I'm just gonna hit the bottom here. All right, this is, this is feeling pretty good, I like it. Now, maybe this is sitting on a little gray pad on the ground, so I can take this cool gray again. You know, maybe it's just a nice silicone gray pad or something. We can capture that in our exploded view. Is there a way to make a fillet on the fabric edge? Yes, there is a way. I don't want to do it, <laughs> but there is a way. Um, I would probably take this, this brush end and start to introduce more of a shadow core and then take a white pencil and establish a little bit of a highlight. But I like, I kind of like the crisp edge. Um, I've been really into pure geometry designs these days. So that's, that's what appeals to me. And maybe this design, you know, it's something that, um, you know, if you're sitting on a table, for example, the speaker is always facing up and out. This could be a cool design. Yeah, so there's some directionality to the sound and the presentation of everything um, as part of the form story, if you will. That could be a part of it. All right. Thank you, Robert. Um, almost made a mistake there. <laughs> How do Vikings send secret messages, asks Tom. <laughs> Through Norse code. I like that one. It's a good one. Dad jokes are the best, I think. Okay, but I'm biased because I'm a dad. Um, so let's do a background. I want something really, really, really light. So let's start with this BG-68 maybe. I 
And then to finish this up, I'll take a Prismacolor Premier pencil. It's a softer lead, and I can use that to just go ahead and enhance. Kind of want to try to decide if I want this background to be streaky or not. We'll see how I feel about it. I can always cover it up, so. If you do catch the stream on YouTube, I do upload all the scans of the sketches to a Google Drive. So if you want to check them out after the show, you can always do that. Um, just use the link in the video description. That'll take you to a Google Drive. All right, so now I'm going to draw over the sketch and just pull out the details in the lines. And I can go heavy or darker on the bottom, for example. Right here where I have a shadow being cast. Get this foot in. Where possible, keep your strokes deliberate. You don't wanna be going back and forth if you're using a pencil. It's likely the temptation because that's how you learn to use a pencil when you're doing fine art. But if you're doing, uh, I was chatting with a friend this morning about, uh, like I said, this, this blog post I did, but I said, maybe we're all kind of like designer illustrators. That's what we do. And he was like, yeah. So if you're design illustrating <laughs> something, um, you definitely want to keep those strokes deliberate, purposeful, and that confidence is going to carry through. Because if you present an idea confidently, it's more likely that someone will, I think it'll resonate with them than if uh, you know, you're uncertain about it. Creative Genius is asking what types of what type of paper I use. Um, uh, right now, I'm using uh, marker paper, Copic marker paper. I'm not sure if it's Copic brand, but it is Copic marker paper. So, yeah, Copic. That's what I'm using. Thanks for joining me on Sketch Day Live. It's Friday, so I've done a speaker. I'm gonna redraw the concept after this, and we're gonna do an exploded view, and then we're gonna jump and do a camera think. Ah, come on. There we go. I was trying to get this pencil. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So tip on your or tip, a <laughs> uh, bit of advice on your pencil. If you're doing this, try and rotate your pencil as you draw. So it's very subtle, but as I draw, I rotate the pencil. So watch the label as I'm drawing. So do you see I flip the label? Okay, that is because when you draw with a pencil, I am using Ohuhu markers. That's what I'm using right now, boom. Um, when you draw with a pencil, it actually wears down the tip of the pencil. So you kind of want to rotate as you go, and that's going to help with, help with keeping your stroke sharp and crisp, particularly if you're using a softer pencil like I am. It's only going to help. So I also have begun offering tutoring. Um, that'll be going live on the site soon as I figure things out. So if that's something you're interested in, you can reach out once I post the details and We'll figure it out together. Okay, so I want the side of this to be a little darker. I started using pencil and I'm like, eh, I don't really want to use pencil right now, but it is, it is kind of a light gray. Um, this gray I'm using, I don't have too much of an in-between. So let's, I switched to a Copic marker now. Okay, because I want there to be contrast between the front edge and the rest of 
the top. Copic's a little bit different um, color, so let's grab one. Help this out a bit. Would I be interested in tutoring university students? Absolutely. Um, I actually do that quite a bit as well. I miss doing it in person. I used to travel uh, the country and the world and do it, but obviously things are super tight and locked down right now. But yeah, that's something I do, Tom. What's up, Foxhound? Cloppy? Is it cloppy or choppy? Hello. On Instagram, I'm being asked, I will be tutoring. I'll offer it. I mean, it's not going to be free, but I'll offer tutoring. <laughs> um... I'll usually work with a university though to, you know, make it work um, either way. So don't worry, just just reach out, let me know. Um, but I've done a lot of in-person workshops, um, obviously moving virtual right now. So, but yeah, I'd be happy to teach a class or, um, you know, tutor either way, workshop it. <clears throat> All right, I did a little bit of a highlight to the rim of this speaker. I am not going to tell you how much on the Instagram, but Kartik, you can send me a message. We'll talk about it. All right, so power cord, cable, whatever. Um, I probably need some sort of volume control, which I completely ignored and forgot about. So on the front here, uh, maybe what I'll do, or on the side, we could do it. We could do it on the side. Just have a little volume control and maybe it's the same color you know just a plus plus minus thing here yeah tutoring is something that i've been for the last i don't know 15 whatever years people have asked me to do and i've been like no 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 but i think it's time um i think given the current situation and um in excess or whatever lack of access to <laughs> help i think it's i think it's a good time for me to offer that so i'll be offering that okay so i just added a little plus minus to the side here <clears throat> this is a moloto moloto molotow pen um i'll actually add another note because this is a video i need to do a video on um white pens so I'll talk about different white pens I've used, what I like, what I don't like, and what I recommend, and send that to you, or post. Everything is good. That's right. Any alternatives for Copic? I'm using Ohuhu markers. That's what I'm using right now. Ohuhu brand markers, okay? All right, so I got the base in. I do wanna make this a little darker. So right here, I'm supposed to call uh, my friend at around 11.30, so I'm gonna have to hustle. So the exploded view I do of this will be more of a schematic, I think, um, but I'll show you a quick way to do it using an existing sketch, okay, on paper. And now I just wanna add a shadow, maybe a hint of reflection, that kind of thing. So just outside here, we'll do a subtle contact shadow and then We'll fade that out, okay? Just a little shadow here. Man, I'm surprised this marker didn't dry up. I forgot to un or forgot to cap it. Um, Cloppy says it's such an interesting journey to see 
your 3D printing. That's good. I'm glad. Um, I've, like I said, I've been doing this for a long time and I make a lot of prototypes. I do furniture. I'm going to be building a studio in my backyard. Um, I may move the show out there depending on, you know, how it turns out, but I do a lot of things. I actually used to one of my, not one of, but I used to renovate homes. I used to renovate homes <laughs> for um, extra income. And so I learned a ton about just making things. Um, industrial design was kind of my gateway to uh, what I do professionally, but nowadays I consider myself more of a creative. Chad Sanborn is recommending biannual markers. I know you picked those up. How are those treating you, man? I use them from time to time. I do like the brush tip on the Ohuhu marker, so that's what I've kind of been using more so. Um, just a very light yellow here on the surface as a reflection. It's very, very light, very subtle, um, but it just helps this thing feel a little bit more grounded. Okay. Uh, let me make sure I get this right because I don't want to mess up. Y'all like to call out all my mistakes. <laughs> So yeah, just a little light yellow here as we reflect. And if you're worried about the intensity of that, you can always, you know, wash it with some gray, for example. Um, but above the yellow, we do have the speaker. So this so is just a cool gray one kind of hit there. And now I have a little reflection in the surface. I've never visited India, Kartik. I would love to. I got invited once and then that fell through. What's up, Matt? Welcome. Um, yeah, Matt, let me know if you want that drawing. I know you messaged me on Patreon, but I never got a response. So let me know. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's our sketch. Now I want to show you how you can do just a quick um, overlay of this and create Someone is asking me on Instagram here, are the hand strokes digitally? Do I have a marker brush to represent? Yes, I do have a marker brush um, in my store. It's actually a set of marker brushes. You can buy just the markers or you can get the full set. And if you do the full set, you get watercolor, pencils, uh, pens. I know some of you have purchased them. So if, if you do like them, let me know. If you don't like them, let me know as well. I'm happy to give refunds or make it right.